God does things at the perfect time. We might not realize it, but he does. It's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know when and I don't know how, but I'm going to put the work in and let God do the rest. Brown sugar, babe. I guess high off your love. I don't know how to be. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I know it's been like a month and some change since y'all seen me on the channel, but I'm gonna explain later. I'm gonna explain. Right now, I gotta finish getting ready because I'm about to go take a walk with babe before I leave and then I'm gonna come back get in the car and I need to go to Ulta for sure I might get my eyebrows done I don't know yet um but yeah so let me finish getting ready before I uh, before I get called out again it's been so long it feels so weird being back on the camera but I love it I love it I miss y'all for real like I just miss interacting with my YouTube subscribers. I don't know. I feel like your supporters are different on each platform. So I really missed my supporters on this platform. I don't know. Y'all been holding it down though. <laughs> Y'all really been holding it down for real. I see y'all. Okay. I'm ready to go. I will show y'all. Okay, listen. <laughs> I just got through doing my hair, so the sink is a mess. But I'm going to show y'all my outfit. But don't talk about my sink. Just excuse the mess, okay? Excuse the mess. But this is what we're wearing today. This cute little blue set. I got on some blue sandals. Really cute. Simple. I forgot where I got this from, so I'm going to figure it out and place it in the video somewhere so y'all know where I got this set from. Okay, let's go before Bay gets a little anxious about me taking forever. <laughs> Okay, so we finished our walk. I'm about to go to Ulta because I need some skincare stuff. I ran out of a few things that I need. So, you know, when you go to Ulta, you spend a lot. When you're trying to get everything you need, you might spend a lot. So, I need to be careful in this store for real. But yeah, I'm about to go to Ulta right now. I am hungry, so I need to go get some food. I don't know what I want to eat though. I'm not really, I don't really have an appetite for anything, so I don't know. I'm going to figure that out on the way, though, what I'm going to eat. Uh, ooh, tropical smoothie. That's the move. I think I'm going to eat tropical smoothie. It's over there where I'm going. So, yeah, I think I'm going to eat tropical smoothie. I'm not going to get my eyebrows done just because I don't even feel like, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't feel like it. Um, so I'm just gonna go to Ulta get what I need. Give me some food. I think I'm gonna get some food first. And um, yeah, then I'll sit in here while I eat my food. I'll sit here and talk to y'all about where I've been. You know what's been going on or whatever, and update y'all on a few things while I'm eating. So yeah, let's go get some food. Y'all, let me tell you about the struggle of me trying to set my camera up in my car it's it's impossible it's impossible because like my dashboard <coughs> at first <coughs> what the heck 
at first i got the car tripod and it wouldn't stick to my dashboard so i'm like okay maybe i need to get something to make it stick so i found these little um I don't know dashboard pads that you like stick up there and then the tripod sticks on here so i found that and i'm like okay finally i can set my camera up in my car no because my i guess it's just too much it's too much going on here like it's too big to fit under my dashboard my dashboard isn't huge so i don't know y'all we're gonna figure out how to vlog in the car we need to just get a new car that's the goal we're gonna get a new car and we're not gonna have these problems no more that's that's the that's the goal that's the plan because this is just ghetto okay let's go get some food hi dear have you had a chance to place your order yet no ma'am what can we get for you could i get a three cheese chicken quesadilla okay and the side with that um Jalapeno chips. Okay. And a sunrise sunset, please. All right. Anything else for you? No, that's it. Three cheese chicken quesadilla with jalapeno chips and a sunrise sunset. It's going to be 12 28. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to eat. Oh! I really could have went in and ordered, but. Y'all, it's just too hot to be getting out the car for no reason. Y'all, look what I did to my hand last night. I, like, burned my hand, and now it's, like, a titty on my hand. My boyfriend told me to pop it, but I'm scared. The last time I burned myself this bad, I didn't do anything, too. I just put cocoa butter on it, so I'm going to get some raw cocoa butter, hopefully, today, so I can start getting this to heal i was cooking and stirring the food and the juice like popped on my hand and really burned me i'm just like what the heck i couldn't believe it i was like stuff always pops on me when i'm cooking why now i gotta get burned like really burned whatever that food was good though it was some beef it was some what do you call it beef tips and rice so good so good and we got leftovers i can't wait to eat again <laughs> It was so good. I don't know if it was worth getting burned for, but it was good though. Ooh, we, I got my food. And I figured out some type of way to set y'all up right here. Because we was going to figure it out. Got my chicken cheese quesadilla. Ooh, I love tropical smoothie, y'all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know what they did today. They just threw it together but that's okay because it's gonna all go down the same way i'm finna smash got my smoothie sunrise sunset mm. and then y'all it comes with this roasted salsa and like it's so good i don't like salsa usually like when i give you salsa at the restaurant i don't like salsa but this salsa this salsa in real authentic salsa from like my hispanic people that's the only salsa i eat i don't eat restaurant salsa i just cannot but this is so good mm -hmm. mm. i haven't had this in so long so <clears throat> we gotta talk so I know I've been gone for like a month, but let me just tell y'all how all of this just kind of transpired for me and how it like, I don't know. I was just, I was sinking. That's what I felt like I was doing. I felt like I was just sinking. So literally after my last video, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like I got overwhelmed with like everything that I want to do all the things i want to handle i feel like i kind of got overwhelmed so i was telling my boyfriend i was like i'm gonna just chill on youtube for a minute and just try to focus on like the social media and the business you know dynamic and my branding on social media and all of that and it was because i just didn't have 
time like time is just I didn't have time and I feel like I had no time for me at all like I would go to work get off work I'm tired so ideally I would get off work and maybe record a video or something but I just be so exhausted after work sometimes then there's the weekend so I try to like cram everything that I need to do into my weekend and after the weekend's over I'm back to work and I have never and I just didn't have any time for me like I just felt like I was being I don't know I felt like I was sinking then there's this I feel like I had a creative block well, I couldn't come up with ideas. I couldn't come up with something to do. I couldn't come up with things to talk about. Like, yes, I have all this that I can talk about, but do they want to hear that? Just trying to figure it out. It's just a lot. It's a lot. And <clears throat> then you get caught up in like the numbers of things. It's just a lot. And it brings, it was just bringing me down, honestly. So I took a break from YouTube after that video. Wait, I got to take a bite. So I took a break from YouTube, just a little one. After that video, I was just trying to figure out what am I doing? I don't know, I feel like I was spiraling low key. <clears throat> then, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna focus on posting on social media like I'm supposed to, coming up with things to do for like reels, TikToks, things like that. And I know a lot of people talk about, well, first of all, when I first like realized that okay something's going on I got an issue here like I got a problem I was driving from work and this is like this is how this is the only way I can describe it I was driving from work and I felt okay like I'm good nothing's going wrong in my life nothing's bad but things just aren't going the way that I want them to in the time that I want them to or whatever so I was just feeling like and the way my job is, I have to drive an hour to work, an hour from work, and I honestly think it's utterly ridiculous. So, I will be okay, you know, I had a good day at work, but then I have to make this hour drive and it's just, it's draining. So, um, I was driving from work one day and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I really hate this. I really hate this drive. I was really just having like multiple negative thoughts about the drive. Like I really just hate this drive. I don't understand why I gotta do this, yada, yada, yada. You know, in my mind, I feel like God does things for certain reasons, but I really don't understand why I gotta drive now. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe he's preparing me for something. Um, but in that moment of me thinking about that, I was just like, I'm okay. But I don't know, it's just like my spirit is low. Like my soul is just down. And I had a scripture. Um, why my soul are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God for I will yet praise him, my savior and my God. Psalms 42 and five. Um, but that's how I was feeling. Like I was just feeling like my soul was downcast. Like my spirit was just low although nothing is really wrong in my life or nothing's really wrong with me that's just how i was feeling and um so then i i believe this was like the same night um i just realized like me scroll mm. so <clears throat> i realized that me scrolling on social media and stuff you know, they say like comparison is the thief of joy and it is so true because I feel like that's what I was doing. I'm just scrolling like, wow, I can't do that because I don't have this. I wish I could do that, but I don't have this. I wish I would have thought of that. Oh my gosh. And then you, I just started thinking, you know, negatively about myself negatively about the things that I could do you know the things that the gifts that I have I was just thinking negatively about it so I um I just took like a little week I don't know a week or so off social media to just be in my own thoughts um 
I actually read a book, Winning the War in Your Mind by Craig Groeschel. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. But yeah, I read that book while I was off social media. And I've had that book for like, um, I don't know. I've had that book for a few months and I just never got around to reading it. But I feel like, you know, God does things at the perfect time. We might not realize it, but he does. So I, um... Once I took that break, wait a minute. Once I took that break from social media, I read the book. And you know how you go to church and it's like the pastor is just reading you like a book. And it's just like, wow. So that whole book, it was like exactly what I was going through. Just all of the thoughts in my head were just negative but about me negative about my process my journey and i didn't like it um <clears throat> so i just had to take a step back that book oh i think it changed my life i think it came at the perfect time it was so perfect it just gave me tools to you know know who i am who i'm serving um why i'm here you know just appreciate what god has done for me just appreciate me like he created me like I shouldn't be talking down on myself having negative thoughts like this or you know it's all an attack so I had to realize that I really took some time to and in that book he made you write down the negative thoughts that you have or the lies that you tell yourself and when I wrote them down I was just like oh my gosh girl <laughs> Like, what in the world is happening? So, yeah, I really had to take that step back because it was getting bad. Like, and it wasn't about other people at all. It was just solely about me. Like, I'm scrolling. I'm liking stuff. I'm commenting, you know, supporting people. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I'm like, wow, why? Why can't I do it like this? Or why am I not making it like this? Or I've been doing this for so long. Why am I not there yet? And it's just... Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that. It was just too much. It's too. It was too much at the time. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like I really had to just become strong in myself again. I lost it. I think I just lost that strength within myself. So I had to just become strong within myself again. You know, get closer to God. Ooh, I love it. I just feel like... I don't know if I didn't spend time with God. Ooh, I'd probably be jacked up out here. I'd be jacked up. He gave us everything we need. He put everything we need inside of us. And he gave us everything we need to hear from him in his word. So I'm just really grateful that I got a chance to read that book and it really transformed my thinking. And it's not an overnight process at all, but it's better. That's why I've just been a little MIA. But I'm so happy to get back on YouTube. Like, I love it here. <laughs> I don't know. I just love it here. I definitely want to bring y'all valuable content on and off YouTube. So, yeah. I'm pretty excited to be back. Back in the right head space. We got goals to reach. It's going to happen. It's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't know when and I don't know how, but I'm gonna put the work in and let God do the rest. Um, that's all I can do. So yeah, comment down below if you can relate to anything that I've said. Like, I know I'm not the only one. <clears throat> a lot of people like to say, don't compare yourself to others. Comparison is a thief of joy. Love yourself, yada, yada, yada. But all of that stuff is easier said than done when you're trying to grow in such a I don't even know what to call it like a such a factory industry and I'm saying factory industry because it's like everybody's just doing the same thing and everybody's trying to make it everybody's just trying to
go viral and make money and we're all trying to do it and it's just like oh it can be a everlasting cycle just the same thing over and over again so it's hard it's hard not to compare yourself if you do struggle though read that book know that it's something special within you that god has given you whether you know what it is yet or not i don't really see how people do mukbangs the talking and eating is so uncomfortable <laughs> It feels so wrong. Like, <laughs> that's what it, it just feels wrong. I'm just so grateful, honestly. I'm grateful that this happened when it happened. I honestly feel like um, God takes me through things. Well, I've always been like this. I've been like this since I was young. I always thought that your blessings aren't for you, they're for someone else. And sometimes the things that you go through in life, they aren't for you. It's so you can help somebody else so you just gotta go through it get through it and tell somebody else how to get through it because i'm not gonna be the only one to go through this literally we're just servants and vessels for the lord that's how i feel and you just have to be strong during the process oh um <clears throat> good news i started a podcast for dynamic if you don't know already i'll put the link down into the description what i'll put the link down in the description so that you guys can go listen to it i put it on our website and it's also on apple music amazon music and spotify so almost everywhere but i definitely put the link down below so y'all can listen i just wanted to so with my clothing brand with dynamic to me it's literally about changing it's about progressing and growth that's what it's about but i didn't want to just put these fancy nice quotes on shirts sell them put the nice logo on the shirt sell them i really want to impact lives and if i really want my brand to impact lives i was trying to think of something else like what else could i do to really give you guys tools to being dynamic creating a dynamic life so that's what I came up with the podcast. We've had, I think by the time you see this, we've had three episodes so far. I'm actually probably gonna record today. I love doing the podcast just because I feel like it's really helping somebody. It's really helping somebody to know that you're not the only one going through things, that there's different ways for you to handle situations that come up in your life. I don't know. I feel like it's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So yeah i love it if you guys check it out make sure you rate the show and review it <clears throat> i always need feedback so i'm not doing like the same thing that y'all don't want to hear or something so Ooh, i'm done eating i've been talking for too long but i did just want to let y'all know where i was what was going on how i'm doing <clears throat> this stuff ain't easy y'all it's not easy it might look easy but it's not but it's worth it though i think it's gonna be worth it it's all gonna be worth it in the end everything's gonna happen on god's timing and his timing is always perfect so i'm about to go to ulta now that food is good <laughs> so i'm about to go to ulta probably gonna go to like dollar general or something after that and then i'm going home i got some work to do so yeah <clears throat> let's go Okay, so I got the goods. Got the goods from Ulta. Broke my pocket real quick. You just not safe at Ulta. You just not. So now I'm about to head to the dollar store to get some stuff for the house. And I'm going to show y'all what I got later. But yeah, I got to keep going. Y'all, why is it so hot? It's like really hot out here. So let's go. Okay, so I made it home. Um, I'm about to type out an outline for the podcast. I like to type an outline up first so that I'm not just rambling and talking all over the place. I actually have like points I want to talk about. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, hopefully I don't fall asleep because that sun drained me today. I'm like no energy. So it's possible I might fall asleep. But when I wake up, my work's going to get done. So let me type out this outline and I'm going to come back to y'all. Yes. Yeah.
Lately I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England, never know. But when I see my friends, I see them with this golden glow. It seems they can touch the rainbow. I guess I'll never know, never know, never know. Would that be me? If I'd stay. In my city, red, blue, and green. But you really just have to get out of your head. Like, if God gave it to you, get to it. So, I was stopping me from starting something great. Another thing that could stop you from starting is opinions of others. Everybody got one. <laughs> Bro, it's a net in here, and it's about to drive me up the wall. Jesus! Y'all, it's the end of the day, but I had to give y'all the Ulta haul before I, you know, got off of here. So, I really like using the Ordinary, so I got a few more of their products that I don't usually use. I use their moisturizer all the time, so I got more of that because I ran out. Niacinamide, I use that love it i ran out as well so i got some more of that the new things that i got from the ordinary are the hyaluronic acid the lactic acid i know y'all can't see this i'll put everything in the links below so y'all can check it out if you want to um the lactic acid and the alpha arbutin i got that in glycolic acid toner uh that's it from the ordinary then I got some more facial cleanser because I ran out like two nights ago. Also got this little baby lotion just to keep in my purse so I can put it on my face throughout the day if I need to. Moisturizing cream from CeraVe. Uh, nightly exfoliating treatment. Now all of these I haven't tried from them yet. I use this all the time, so I love this. But it's going to be my first time trying these. I'm really excited to try this nightly exfoliating treatment. I hope it does wonders. I also got me lavender body scrub from Tree Hut. Love Tree Hut. If you don't use Tree Hut, what you doing? I love this. And I just got lavender because I usually use this at night, so why not get lavender? It smells so good oh my gosh it smells like a flower and then lastly i got a pair of lashes i've been needing a new pair of lashes so i just got these i don't know what millimeter this is i think i like 18 20 i will wear 20 but i think 18 is like my comfortable millimeter size so i don't know if these are 18 though <sighs> but yeah y'all that nap it was a good nap. I got up and then I cleaned and stuff. As y'all saw, I recorded the podcast. But it wasn't enough. <laughs> I'm still tired. It's crazy. I'm still tired. And I got to go to work in the morning. So I think that's it. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. So I had talked to my boyfriend about like everything that I was talking to y'all about earlier. So when we were talking, he was just like, let the flavor flow. So that's what we're going to be doing. From now on, we're gonna let the flavor flow and we just gonna, you know, keep going on this journey. Not beating myself up anymore. So I'm happy to be back on the channel. Thank y'all for just, thank you to everybody who has subscribed, everybody who has been commenting, liking videos, even though I haven't really been here. I really thank y'all for still, you know, supporting me on the channel. Um, but I'm happy to be back. Let's get it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to join Flavor Squad. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new video. And that's all I have for you guys. So may your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here. Brad,